What's going on, Razmanites? Well, I had this episode filmed yesterday, but then, since I haven't uploaded a day late this week due to my last episode not being up till Saturday, and after what happened on Raw last night, I wanted to add some stuff anyway, as you can probably tell by the title. But, but first, before we get started, I want to announce that I'm doing a wrestling-only Q&A for next week. Because what I've decided to do is only do wrestling the way it ought to be when there's something that really catches my eye in wrestling that really is going wrong that I need to talk about changing or being fixed and just try and do a weekly wrestling video unless there's a series going on like there will be in a couple weeks but I'll get into that next week. But anyway, for next week's wrestling video, what we're going to do is do a wrestling Q&A. But rather than have you all post the questions here, because when you post questions here on YouTube, all the comments sort of blend together. Yeah, everybody has their own username, but the comments sort of blend together and it's really, really hard to print questions out. So what I'd rather have you do is go and post them on my Facebook fan page. So if you haven't liked my Facebook fan page, it's really simple. It's just facebook.com backslash Razman's Reality. Link is always in the description box. Link is always on the front of my channel page. Just go and like me on Facebook, and you will see on the Facebook fan page. Originally, I had it aimed for today, but realized I didn't give it enough time. But you will see on the Facebook fan page where everybody has already started asking questions those that have liked me on Facebook already so just post your questions there and then for next week's wrestling video which will be either Monday or Tuesday that's when we'll do the Q&A answers and the other thing is my friend Mr. Jess Ray I promised him a shout out so there is his main channel link which as I said is Mr. Jess Ray he also has a secondary channel called Leaders of the Old School I will put both channels in the description box I just couldn't do them both in overlay that quickly so make sure you check out Mr. Jess Ray one of the most underrated shooters on here and always tells it like it is and is very boisterous in his opinions so today's topics are that were being hashtag Jared trolled and Kane and John Cena and the name of Brian Hilton on the Razman's reality. Okay, so I wanted to make this read, make this video, and make sure I got this topic in because I can't believe how many people that I'm seeing here in the YWC that are still not getting this. They're still like, "What's Jericho doing? I'm sick of him not talking. Jericho sucks." Da 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 da. On and on and on and on and on. Wake up, people! It's not that hard to figure out. What did the majority of wrestling fans do when It Begins started? We all figured out who It Begins was supposed to be.
that it was supposed to be Jericho, right? Jericho is messing with us. He's like, okay, if you think you're so smart and you have everything figured out, maybe you'll figure it out that I came back, but you haven't figured out that you're not supposed to like my comeback, that you're supposed to hate my guts, that I'm going after your biggest wrestler, the one that you think is the savior of the WWE, you forgot that I'm the savior of the WWE. You think this guy, CM Punk, is the savior of the WWE. He's proving that he is not going to give us what we want from him. Or what the little kids want from him. I should be more to the point. Because he's not going to be the good guy, Y2J, Chris Jericho. Everybody loves calling him Y2J because it's a cool nickname. I still call him Y2J. But he's not going to be Y2J. He's going to be the Chris Jericho in the suit. But maybe not wear a suit. He's going to reinvent himself because he does it every time. But the point I'm trying to make is he's going to be the heel Chris Jericho. He is going to be the clear-cut heel in this feud with CM Punk. Why are they throw Daniel Bryan in there like I said I wanted a couple weeks ago or not? Jericho, as clear as day, as bright as sun, which there is none of today. So I apologize once again for a darker video. But as clear as day, as bright as sun, he is not going to be a good guy. Quote, unquote. He is going to be the butthole that gets under everybody's skin. That's exactly who Chris Jericho is going to be come WrestleMania time. And what they're doing with this heel turn, if you can even call it a heel turn, because it's been obvious from week one, but what they're doing, what Jericho... And the WWE is doing is the most unique thing for heel to ever do. He started out as a face, or what looked like a face, and he's messing with people's minds. And he's getting more and more dramatic every week. And eventually it's just going to get to where there's nothing else he can do. And come Royal Rumble after he wins it if he wins it or whatever happens at the Royal Rumble where it makes it easier to set up the match or maybe Elimination Chamber. I don't think they're going to be able to stretch it out that far but eventually there's going to be nothing left he can do trick wise and he's going to come out with his true intentions but him walking out last night don't be upset about it. Don't be all up in arms about it or anything he's been doing. Just enjoy Chris Jericho's genius. Nobody but Chris Jericho can do what Chris Jericho does. Call me a mark if you want. I am the biggest Jericho fan in the world. But nobody can do what Jericho does. Jericho can play on the emotions of the crowd. He can pull the puppet strings and that's exactly what he's doing. He's hash tag Jericho trolling us. So instead of panicking about it, instead of saying, oh, it sucks, and wow, there was loud thunder in the background there. Sorry about that. But instead of panicking about it, instead of saying it sucks, just sit back and enjoy it. Don't be a mark. You can be a Jericho mark like me if you want. But don't be a mark. Don't read into every little action like it's supposed to be a reality. Just enjoy it for what it is. Jericho is messing with our minds and he's absolutely genius. Period. Okay. Now, the other things I want to talk about are Kane and John Cena. I really like what Kane and John Cena are doing, which is why I attached this to Rotisserie Jamie's video where she talked about Kane and John Cena just to try and get some interaction going with the community. Which, by the way, my video responses, I've said this before, my video responses are always wide open. I love the idea of somebody in the community seeing a video somebody else makes and deciding to respond to it. So you don't always just have to leave me comments on here or on Facebook. You can do video responses. I'm always open for those. But anyway, my point was, I agree with everything Rotisserie Jamie said in her video. I really like what they're doing with Kane and John Cena. 
it's really unique for something that was supposed to be just a throwaway feud for Cena while he gets ready for The Rock at WrestleMania 28. It's really turned into one of the most interesting things on WWE television. Kane is pushing John Cena to places he hasn't gone before, like we saw last night with the Zack Ryder situation, which, by the way, since I brought it up, I do have to say, don't panic about Zack Ryder either. It's clearly just a way to make Jack Spider more relevant as an opponent for Zack Ryder. I don't think that Jack Swagger's United States title reign is going to stick. If it does, I will be surprised. I think what's actually going to happen is that John Laurinaitis is going to say, well, I can't reverse the referee's decision, but I did screw up, so what we're going to do is we're going to vacate the U.S. title and a champion will be crowned at Royal Rumble. And Zack Ryder will get his title back. That's what I think is going to happen. So, don't worry about it. But anyway, I really like what they're doing with, with Cena and Kane. It's really fresh and really unique. And Kane is looking like an absolute monster every week. And the biggest thing is Cena is out of the title picture. That's the biggest thing about this whole thing is Cena is out of the title picture. And I love it. The only part I don't like about it is that Kane is talking. I know that Kane's promos have been arguably the best part of this, and I agree with that. But I don't like the fact that he's talking because I've always been of the opinion that it hurts the monster heel character for him to talk. I liked him much better when he had a mouthpiece. And the Daniel Bryan heel turn... I wasn't really sold on that in the beginning. I agree with an earlier video that my buddy that I just shouted out, Mr. Just Ray made. I thought it was pointless. I thought his character was too likable in WWE. But, you know, WWE knows what they're doing. They know that heels have more of a chance to express them on the mic. And for the first time, WWE fans who never saw Brian Danielson as ROH are seeing the Daniel Bryan WWE character and how good of a promo guy he is. And the slow heel turn playing the fence being kind of underhanded, I really, really like this. And the good thing about it is long term, he can cut promos as a face next time he's a face. I don't like the fact that SmackDown is overrated with heels, but I do think this is the best thing for them to do for Daniel Bryan right now to make him more of a relevant main eventer, and I like it. With that, like I said, leave video responses or comments on anything, as always. And as always, this is reality according to the Razman. And Razman style, it's not just a catchphrase, but a way of life. <laughs>